Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about the Mara Montessori Approach and Waldorf Approach Model. First, Montessori Approach Model is based on the principle developed by Maria Montessori, an Italian physician who opened her first school for children of low-income workers in an apartment building in Rome in 1907. The school was called Casa de Bambini, which means home for children. The activity of this school includes personal hygiene and environmental care such as sweeping, dusting and gardening. The children in this school can move freely and play with the material that Montessori developed in her earlier career. The goal of this approach emphasizes the all-around development of the child and the support of teacher who guides the child learning. The importance of this approach is that it is an approach that solely child-centered. It focuses mainly on the observation of the child and recognizing the child's needs, strengths and weaknesses. Montessori will use objects that an everyday adult will use and this shows independence of the child will gain confidence in. The role of the educator is very limited. Dr. Maria Montessori believes children could teach themselves in a prepared environment. This means the role of the educator is to typically just prepare the environment. The main goal of the educator is to observe the children and through those finding great experiences that can advance with the child as they develop. Educators that work in a Montessori classroom go through specialized training to focus specifically on how to support children with their learning through prepared environment, need an orderly classroom and activities, and educational materials so the children can assess anything they need to advance their learning. So, let's talk about the advantages of Maria Montessori approach. First, it focuses on hands-on independent learning. This provides children with courses, activity, and materials that suit their ability. We can say that they have made progress in their development as an individual. Next, Montessori approach can enhance social interaction within children. Montessori take advantage of this by grouping children of different ages in the same environment. It enables the children to teach each other, learn from each other, and develop life skills such as tolerance and acceptance. And last, it is a cultivated love for learning. People who study Montessori tend to show constant curiosity about the people and the world around them. They enjoy learning and will never feel burdened while learning. Next, we talk about the disadvantages of Maria Montessori approach. First, the fees of the school can be expensive. This is because the Montessori school provides many high-quality, reliable teaching materials and long-term training for young children and this costs a lot. And second, Montessori school is not accessible to everyone. This is because not every school uses the Montessori method to teach children. Only a small percentage of schools will provide a Montessori program and most of them are private schools. And third, Montessori focus on the children's independence, but children need teamwork at work. Children have to cooperate with their colleagues to achieve the goal that is set by their manager. And this is the Montessori classroom. We can see that the material is arranged around the classroom so the children can easily access it. The space is also large which allows the children to move freely. Waldorf Approach was created by Rudolf Steiner. He is an Australian philosopher, social reformer and esotericist. In 1919, Emil Mock invited him to lecture to his worker at the Waldorf Astoria Secret Factory. Out of this lecture came a new school, the Waldorf School. The Waldorf teacher must be trained in the philosophy and theories behind their craft as well as in proper ways to incorporate this idea into the classroom. It focuses on standard theory of child development. The Waldorf School also appeared in Europe Africa, Middle East, Japan, and Australia. So, what is Waldorf Approach? 
It is an education based on an understanding of the development of human individuality, offer protection and respect for the dignity of childhood. It includes an understanding of the unfolding development of the child from pre-birth to seven, including the unique significance of development of walking, speaking and thinking in the first three years of life. So, the children from ages 0 to 7 learn through imitation, doing and creating a sense of wonder. And next, the student ages from 7 to 14. During first two years, they start developing how to read and write. Students are kept in the same classroom with some peers and the same teacher. This promotes a close-knit community where the students grow intellectually and socially together. The students ages 14 to 21 are expected to use rational and abstract thinking. They are introduced to subjects focusing on ethics and social responsibility. The children is taught how to think, not what to think, and develop themselves. Besides, more of approach model is art-focused. One of the most important ways to convey world of curricular information is to cultivate children's spiritual sensitivity and understanding of the world around them through natural artistic activity. As a result, the comprehensive art and outdoor courses give children experience a lot of imagination in their life. And this is the world of classroom. We can see that in the classroom, the children are kept together with the same peers and the same teacher, so they can socialize together. After introducing the Maria Montessori approach and Waldorf approach, let's talk about the similarity between these two approaches. So, first, both Stenner and Montessori believe that education should be adapted to each new level of development. In Montessori and Waldorf school, the daily focus is to promote spiritual and creativity personality of each child. Both tend to think that less is more and restrict the use of computer and technology in exchange for toys that stimulate imagination, role playing and fine motor skills. They are using natural materials and art such as music and dance are encouraged. Next, let's talk about the differences between the Waldorf and Montessori approach. Both Waldorf and Montessori are different in curriculum. They are using different methods to teach children. In Waldorf philosophy, play is considered a child's method and the magic of imagination is so vivid for the children. While in Montessori philosophy, it believes that game and imagination are indispensable components, but it also includes work experience such as age-appropriate touch, creative effort, and mutual care. So, in my own opinion, I will choose Montessori approach for my child. This is because I like the way the Montessori group the children from different ages in the same environment. They can learn from each other and teach each other so the children can well prepare for their social life in the future. So, I prefer the Montessori approach. Which one do you prefer? A Montessori approach or Waldorf approach? That's all from me. Thank you.